Alrighty guys, so what you want to do is you got to get at least one can of tomato sauce. It depends on how much of spaghetti sauce you want to make. Just grab additional cans if you want a big time party spaghetti sauce. So you want to put in this here saucepan. So the amount of people this would feed of course, um, if you're looking for one serving, this is like six to eight. Um, if you want to feed yourself, man, this is not suggested, but hey, if you're a big eater, go right ahead, I don't care. Now, the salt and pepper, this is optional, just pour just a little bit in, and the pepper, just, oh, just a little bit of that, and stir that all together. Now, what you need, what you absolutely need to make this spaghetti sauce successful, is this here fennel, okay? And that's what really gives that ooh moi, that very moi Italian feeling. So there we go. That's enough now for two cans of tomato sauce. All right. Yeah, you gotta stir it around till the green is close to not noticeable. Like right here, it's almost not noticeable. All right. Another big time ingredient you need is time. All right. So. You need quite a bit of time here. Another big ingredient you need, oregano. And you need to, of course, do the same thing. Like I've always been doing, just put it in the sauce. And I just dropped a pretty big important ingredient as well. That'll probably be the last gigantic ingredient anyway. And whoop, darn it, I dropped a few, but sage, all right? You absolutely need sage in order to do this. So just drop just a little bit in there. And this bag won't open all the way. I guess I'll just open this. There we go, it's going. Okay. All right. Get that going. Okay. The rest is totally optional. All right, so I'm gonna add just a teensy bit of garlic. Yeah, it seems a bit enough. Alright, teeny bit of onion. Whoa, that's a little bit too much. That's way more than teeny bit, alright? Accidents happen, it's alright. Hey, I make accidents all the time, alright? So this is completely normal. Alright, mm, it's getting that smell in guys. You have no idea how good this smells. Alright, this is totally optional, but if you want to absolutely nail this recipe, red pepper to really bring that out. Ah, that really spicy Italian sauce. Just get in some red pepper. And the way I do it is a packet for a packet of red pepper for every can of tomato sauce you use. That's just me though. But then again, red pepper is optional. All right, and let's get another one in. All right, you want to get it until you can't see the red peppers. See, almost everything is hidden in the tomato sauce. This is why you need tomato sauce so badly to make this gay sauce. Like that is the most important thing you want. All right, and lastly, this is totally optional, but I love mushrooms and spaghetti sauce. So we're just gonna dump it all in here, and the juice, it's gonna soak in the tomato sauce. So to stir it all around. All right, we're going to heat it up for a little bit, and once it starts bubbling, it is done, and we are going to taste. All right, and you see those bubbles, ladies and gentlemen? This is pretty warm, okay? So you're just gonna stir it around, have that, you now have that nice, thick, creamy taste. This is for you guys at Leavenworth High School, and this is for me, the chef of this well, world now famous Adam Spaghetti Sauce. Enjoy it for Valentine's, guys. Mmm. It is absolutely wonderful that the sauce ran down my chin. It is absolutely gorgeous. I suggest it 10 out of 10. You should definitely try it at home. It's completely safe. A lot of this is optional, but like I said, 
It's going to be world now. This is a now world now famous Adam Spaghetti Sauce. Enjoy it for Valentine's Day, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you guys have a very lovely Valentine's Day. Grab yourself a plate of spaghetti and enjoy Adam Spaghetti Sauce.